Gridtown USA, besides having excellent donut shops, is known for its precisely laid out grids of streets and avenues. Streets run east and west, and avenues run north and south. Suppose you live at the corner of 2nd Avenue and 3rd Street, which would be the point 2, 3 on the coordinate plane, and work on the corner of 8th Avenue and 10th Street, which would be the point 8, 10 on the coordinate plane. Part A, how many different shortest routes can you take to work? If we think of this as a lattice, where the lattice would consist of the points of intersections of all the grids, we know the number of shortest lattice paths of length n containing k steps to the right is equal to n choose k, which means for this application, the number of shortest routes of length n blocks containing k blocks to the right is equal to n choose k. Let's begin by determining the length of the shortest routes from home to work. We do this by only moving right and only moving up from 2 comma 3 to 8 comma 10. For example, we can move right 6 units and up 7 units. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. 13 is the length of all of the shortest routes from home to work. Notice how we took a different route, but again only moved right and only moved up. The length would still be 13 blocks. For example, if we moved up 4 blocks, then right 4 blocks, then up 3 blocks, and right 2 blocks, we would have 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2, which is still a length of 13 blocks. And also notice in both routes, we move right 6 blocks. This indicates the number of shortest routes from home to work is equal to 13 choose 6. And 13 choose 6 is equal to 1,716. There are 1,716 shortest routes from home to work. For part B, suppose you want to stop and get a donut on the way to work. Your favorite donut shop is on the corner of 6th Avenue and 8th Street, which would be the point 6, 8, this point here. How many shortest routes to work stopping at the donut shop can you take? To answer this question, we'll first have to determine the number of shortest routes from home to the donut shop and then multiply it by the number of shortest routes from the donut shop to work. So let's first start with the length of the shortest route from home to the donut shop. Let's go right four, up five. Four plus five is equal to nine. And because we move four blocks to the right, the number of shortest routes from home to the donut shop would be nine, choose four. And then we have times the number of shortest routes from the donut shop to home, or from the point 6, 8 to 8, 10. We would move right 2 and up 2. So the length is 4 blocks. And because we moved 2 blocks to the right, the number of shortest routes from the donut shop to work is 4 choose 2. So we have 9 choose 4 times 4 choose 2. And for the sake of time, 9 choose 4 is equal to 126, and 4 choose 2 is equal to 6. 126 times 6 is equal to 756. There are 756 shortest routes from home to the donut shop and then the donut shop to work. For part C, there is a pothole on 4th Avenue between 5th Street and 6th Street. How many shortest routes to work can you take to avoid the pothole? So this one's a little bit tricky. Let's first mark off the block where the pothole is. The pothole is on 4th Avenue between 5th and 6th Street, which would be this block here. We need to avoid this block. To determine the number of shortest routes to work that avoid this block, we will take all of the shortest routes to work, which we know is equal to 1,716. And then we'll subtract the number of shortest routes that include this block. To do this, we'll first have to determine the number of shortest routes from home to the point 4, 5, this point. Then there's going to be one way to drive down this block, and then we'll determine the number of shortest routes from this point to the end of the block, which is the point 4, 6, to work. So let's begin by determining the number of shortest routes from 2, 3 to 4, 5. The length would be 2 plus 2. 
or four blocks. And because he moved two blocks to the right, the number of shortest routes from home to the point four comma five is four choose two. So we have minus four choose two times. The number of ways we can drive down the block with a pothole is just one. So times one. And then times the number of shortest paths from four comma six to work, which is the point eight comma 10. So to go from four comma six to eight comma 10, we would move two, four blocks to the right, and then four blocks up. Four plus four is equal to eight. We also move four blocks to the right. The number of shortest routes from four comma six to work or to the point eight comma 10 is eight choose four. So again, we have all of the shortest routes from home to work minus the shortest routes that include the block with the pothole. Where we had four choose two, the number of shortest routes from home to the point four comma five, and then times one way to drive down this one block, and then times the number of shortest routes from the end of the block, which is the point four comma six to work, which is eight choose four. So again, for sake of time, we have 1,716 minus the product of four choose two, one, and eight choose four, which is six times one times 70, which gives us 1,716 minus 420, which is equal to 1,296. There are 1,296 shortest routes from home to work that avoid the block with the pothole. And finally for D, the pothole has been repaired. So we'll go ahead and clear all of this. And a new donut shop has opened at the corner of 3rd Avenue and 7th Street, which would be here. Remember the old donut shop was at 6th Avenue and 8th Street, which is here. The question is how many shortest routes to work drive by one or the other or both donut shops? And we're told to use PIE, which is the principle of inclusion exclusion. To answer this question, we'll first determine the number of shortest paths that only stop at the donut shop located at three comma seven, and then we'll add in the number of shortest routes that only stop at the second donut shop, but then we have to subtract out the shortest routes that stop at both donut shops because those routes are counted twice in the first two calculations. So again, let's first determine the number of shortest routes that stop only at the first donut shop. So to go from home to the first donut shop, the path would be one block right and four blocks up. So the path has a length of five with one block movement to the right. There are five choose one shortest routes from home to the first donut shop. And then times the number of shortest routes from the first donut shop to work. And the length would be three, four, five, plus three, which is eight. Because we moved right five blocks, the number of shortest routes would be eight choose five. And then plus the number of shortest routes that only stop at the second donut shop, the length of the shortest route from home to the second donut shop would be one, two, three, four, plus five, which is nine. And because it includes four blocks to the right, there would be nine choose four shortest routes from home to the second donut shop. And then times the number of shortest routes from this donut shop to work. Notice the length is going to be two plus two, which is four. And the route includes two blocks to the right. There are four choose two shortest routes from the second donut shop to work. And now we need to subtract the number of shortest routes that stop at both donut shops. And that's because the routes that stop at both donut shops are counted once in the first calculation and a second time in the second calculation, and therefore we have to subtract them out once. So let's go ahead and determine the lengths of the three paths. Notice the first route has a length of five blocks. The second route has a length of four blocks. And the third route has a length of four blocks as well. Let's just label the right blocks. We have one right block here, three right blocks here, and two right blocks here. 
So again, the first route has a length of five with one block right. There are five choose one shortest routes from home to the first donut shop. The second route has a length of four blocks, three of which are right. The number of shortest routes from the first donut shop to the second donut shop is four choose three. So we have times four choose three. And then finally, the number of shortest routes from the second donut shop to work has a length of four with two blocks to the right, giving us four choose two. So again, for the sake of time, five choose one is equal to five. Eight choose five is equal to 56, giving us five times 56 plus nine choose four equals 126. Four choose two is equal to six, so we have times six minus five choose one is equal to five times four choose three is equal to four times four choose two, which is equal to six. Simplifying, we have 280 plus 756 minus 120, which is equal to 916. There are 916 shortest routes to work that drive by one or the other or both donut shops. I hope you found this helpful.